Little and Troy here. This is Forever and Ever Amen in the key of C. This is that Phil Wickham, Maverick City, Brandon Lake collaboration. And uh, we started doing this one at our church. Fell in love with it. I did like immediately. The words are just so good. And um, decided to redo it uh, after the song kind of morphed and we played it a handful of times. Like I think, I think there's something here. I think what we're doing with it is worth putting out there. So we decided to record a version of it with um, under the name Spirit and Truth Music. You know, we've been releasing songs under Spirit and Truth Music. When I say we, it's two of my best friends, a handful of people from the church. Um, another really great gentleman from out of state and a couple guys from a uh, church in the area. We just come together and we record these songs and release these versions and stuff. So this is what had come out of that. And I, I love this arrangement. I hope you guys do too. So if you want to listen to that, Spotify, uh, iTunes, Spirit and Truth Music is where you'll find that. If you want the uh, pedal board shot and the tablature and stuff that goes across the screen for these parts and you're interested in doing these parts, that's over at guitarforisglory.com. So I'd love to see you over there to check that out. Uh, From a tone standpoint, hey everyone, just a quick pause to ask for your support. Currently 71% of the people who view this channel are not subscribed. And by subscribing, you help support the channel, you help keep it going, but more importantly, it helps to get these videos in front of more people so they can hear the good news of Jesus Christ. So if you found value in these videos through the years, I ask that you please consider subscribing. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. It means more than you'll ever know. Now back to the video. We're using two Tonex pedals in stereo, and I'm using captures from the guys over at Worship Tutorials. I was using those free captures for a little while. Actually, for a while, like basically the whole time that I've had the pedal. Uh, the free captures for a while. And um, I decided to purchase some from Worship Tutorials, mainly out of curiosity. I know they do a great job over there. They're super detailed in everything they do, and I appreciate the amount of effort that they put into their presets and their captures and all that stuff, so I decided to try them out. I did not get them for free, just so you know. I paid just like everybody else, and uh, I'm using the 1964 AC30 capture and the 1967 Deluxe Reverb capture, and I think they sound great. So if you're looking for some great captures, this is the stereo amp pack over at Worship Tutorials. Um, let's talk about the words to this one. My favorite part of these videos is doing a short devotional for you. So. This song, from a like first principle standpoint, when you're singing anything that has to do with singing to God about His holiness and His worthiness, I'm a big fan of. Um, but what really struck me about this one is like the tag at the end, which isn't even a main part of the song, but the tag at the end. Who is this King of Glory? Jesus is His name. He came and redeemed my story. Now everything has changed. That right there is my life. That he came and redeemed me in my mid 20s after some very, very rough, rough years, uh, a, a handful of very, very rough years where I'd strayed far from the path. I wasn't even saved prior uh, to straying off the path, but I was, you know what, I'd say like a good, a good kid, a good guy, you know, um, had good morals and, um, there's a, a big pocket of my 20s there where I was just not that way. Made some really, really poor decisions um, in many aspects of my life. And uh, I paid for them in the way of broken relationships. I paid for them in the way of jail time. I paid for them in the way of DUI. I paid for them in the way of financial trouble. Um, I mean, the list kind of goes on. And then there's things that I did that no one ever even found out about that I have to live with. And then when I was 26 years old, I met my wife um, where I was working at the time. Met her and uh, God used her to pull me to him and to compel me to open a Bible for the first time in my life. And in my mid twenties, had pressed the reset button in my life, basically was living at home with my parents and was in my bedroom that I grew up in when I was a kid. Here I am 26 years old in my bedroom and reading the Gospel of John by myself. And he, he came and he saved me. I was in my bed, I was reading John 12, get a chance to read Ch- John chapter 12. And Jesus came and he redeemed my story and everything since then has changed, just everything. And that's why I love this song. It just resonates with me personally. And I know that if you have 
the story that I have, which we have the same story, the details might be a little bit different, but we have the same story where Jesus came and saved you and he redeemed you and now everything has changed. And when I get a chance to sing that and proclaim his holiness and his worthiness at the same time, I, I guess there's just not a better feeling on this side of eternity that I can think of. So that's why these songs mean so much to me is because I I know that's what happened to me. He came and he gave me a new heart. He came, forgave me of my sins, forgave me. I don't even can't talk right now. He, he had forgiven me. I had confessed my sins to him. The Bible says that when you confess, he is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And that's what he did. And I feel it. I know he did. And I believe him and I trust him. And he is my life. Um, so that's why I love these songs. And um, in any case, hope that was helpful to you. Uh, if you have questions about that at all, like, you know, my testimony and things, you're welcome to reach out to me personally. You can find my email on the website. I have, you know, Instagram and stuff like that. You can reach out to me. This relationship part of this platform and stuff is the most important part of it to me. It's walking alongside my brothers and sisters in Christ. And um, if you think the intros are too long, you can fast forward through them. Uh, but if you stick with me through them, uh, I thank you for that because I feel like we're building like a friendship. It's the weirdest thing and the coolest thing all at the same time. So uh, feel free to reach out anytime. I'd be happy to, to chat with you about your story and mine too. So in any case, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Join the angels and we sing
Hey there, if this video or other videos on this channel have been helpful to you, I invite you to join guitarforhisglory.com. In addition to over a hundred song tutorials and playthroughs, there's six plus hours of training content designed specifically for the worship guitar player to help you serve the Lord with greater confidence and skill. And really, the end goal being that we think less about playing guitar, less about tone, and more on worshiping Christ. So I hope to see you over there. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.